Long division with base 10 blocks. What is long division? A long division problem is a division problem in which the dividend is too large to efficiently use objects, drawings, or even fact families to solve. For example, in the problem 396 divided by 3, the dividend is too large to draw a picture and we're not familiar with that fact family. But don't worry, there are many strategies for solving problems like this. One is called equal sharing. We'll learn about this strategy using base 10 blocks. Let's use base 10 blocks to divide 369 divided by 3. So we start with 369 in base 10 blocks. That's three hundreds, six tens, and nine ones. We're dividing by three, so we are gonna need three groups to divide the blocks into. Now let's start dividing. We're gonna start with the hundreds, and we're gonna think about it like dealing cards, giving each group a hundred at a time like this. Okay, that worked out. Now let's divide up our tens. One for you, one for you, one for you. Oh, I can go back around and give them each another one. And now let's divide up our ones. We'll give them each one one at a time until we're all out of ones, making sure that each group stays equal. Okay, now I can see 123 in each group, and that is the answer to my division problem, 123. Let's try another one, this time 565 divided by five. So we'll start with 565, that's five hundreds, six tens, and five ones. And we'll need five groups. Now let's start dividing. I can give each of them a hundred, and I can give each of them a 10, but I have this 10 left over. What am I gonna do with this extra 10? I can break it apart or unbundle it and turn it into ones. A 10 is just 10 ones. So let's turn this 10 into 10 more ones. And now I'll divide up all these ones. Now I can see 113 in each group. Okay, let's look at 424 divided by three. So starting with 424, and I need three groups. Now let's divide the hundreds. I can give each of them a hundred, but I have an extra hundred. I need to unbundle it and turn this hundred into 10 more tens. Now let's divide up our tens. I'm gonna give each group four tens, and that used up all my tens evenly. And now I have four ones, so I can give each group a one. And I have a one left over. That's going to be my remainder. So I have 141 in each group with one left over. So the answer is 141 remainder one. Let's try one more. 137 divided by four. All right, I'm starting with 100, three tens, and seven ones and four groups. Let's divide up our hun, oh, I only have 100, but I have four groups. That's not going to work. I need to unbundle this 100 and change it into 10 tens. Now I can divide up my tens. Let's give one to each group and see how this works out. Okay, so each group has three tens. But I have one 10 left. I can't put it in any of these groups or they won't be even. I need to unbundle this 10 and change it into 10 ones. Now let's divide up our ones. Okay, I have four ones in each group and one left over. That's gonna be my remainder. So in each group, I have 34 and then I have one left over. That leaves me with an answer of 34 remainder one. Let's review. Create the dividend or the big number using the base 10 blocks. Evenly divide the hundreds and then the tens and then the ones into equal groups. You may need to unbundle changing a hundred into 10 tens or a 10 into 10 ones in order to divide evenly.
This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.